Yes, they're gonna taste how sweet I am. <laughs> oh, my vagina. I have a yeast infection. Here, like, let everybody look at me, pick my ass and all of that. Hey guys, welcome to the Strobing Butt Plug, a podcast about craft beer, obviously. I'm your host, Missy Davis, and this is Ariana Crum and Ron Lynch. Today, we've got a couple beers. Ron went to a brewery out in Indianapolis. Yep. What was that brewery called? Must grab the bottle because I'm dumb. Uh, it's called Scarlet Lane. They had uh, yes. four locations in there, and we went to the one, the northernmost one, um, and had a lot of good beers. I had what you call the Seven Deadly Sins, um, and of the eight of them, because you get a flight two fours. I brought uh, the two of my favorites back with me, and we'll be trying those today, plus our uh, mystery beer. Hell yeah. I'm going to, first we're going to call out this one. So we got the Dorian Coconut and we got the Sweet Ron with a taste of Sweet Ron. Yes, they're going to taste how sweet I am. <laughs> um, um, yeah, we should drink this one is first. Is that the one that's roofied? Yeah. Yes, it is the one that's roofied. So the way they packaged them were in, uh, they don't do cans or anything like that. They package them in these 32 ounce plastic howlers. And on the way back, the sweet run, the lid was a little bit loose and a little bit kind of drained out. So best to get that one drank before it goes bad. Right. It just so happens to be loose. It's the right. sweet run. Just remember, okay. sweet run roofies the ladies and himself because <laughs> being passed out and be waiting to be raped, that's a friend's do. There might be a sweet piece of run in there. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> so we can just sit here and yeah. drinking the beer that I've made myself, right? <laughs> I feel like with this, it's kind of like, I'm going to drink the sweet Ron first, so when it makes me gag because there's a piece of Ron in there, we can just wash it down with the other one. So, for idea. the record, here, go ahead and read what the so sweet Ron the is. the sweet Ron is, is it that one up there? A surly stout. What am I, you s I circled it. Oh, okay, I, I was reading Berserker and it didn't say sweet Ron. So it's a Berserker series. A surly stout with a dash of sweetness, like our Berserker Ron. Do you have a Berserker Ron? That's one of the dudes that brews for him, apparently. Oh, awesome. So Ron's one of their brewers. Not this Ron, different nope, Ron. Different He's Ron. the Berserker Ron, but this one's a sweet Ron. Uh, it's a 6%. Alrighty, excellent. So we're going to fizz it on out. Give this one a try. It's like opening up a uh, freaking Lipton iced tea bottle or something. Oh, it's, my hands are too soft. Such a girl. I can't open this. I have lotion all over my hands. <laughs> I, I can't open that. It's so horrible. My hands, when they're too soft or because of my wrist. The, uh, Ooh, it smells delicious. So the brewery, Missy actually really found out about it when she went to a, like a oddities thing over in Indianapolis a while back with her boys. Uh, they have been the host of uh, Horror, Hound Indi uh, Horror Hound Indy and the official beer of them before. The entire uh, bar where I was at was all set up, all horror film. I actually put um, pictures up on our Facebook feed of the place and everything that I drank while I was there. Um, the whole neighborhood, I think, that the butt plug should probably take... I think the whole butt plug should probably take a trip over there at some point because while I was looking for the brewery, uh, I drove past a place oh, called Tap Cats. There we go. And it said 120 <laughs> beers, 120 beers on tap at Tap Cats. So this is a sweet Ron. It smells coffee-ish. It does. I'm laughing because we're usually splitting 16 ounce beers, and this is like a 32. So it's all the beer. It tastes a little coffee-ish too. Pretty delicious. I like a coffee stout. I'm liking it. I'm going to put that lid on so yeah. I don't spill this good stuff. It is. I really like that. I like the pictures on. I do too. Pretty damn cool. So. Good picture opportunity. Do they get like close ups on the. Can you see it? Like, you know what I mean? From there, no one's down underneath. Extreme close up. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Apparently we're just going to keep quoting Wayne's World forever. Yeah, I do feel like it's like Wayne's World. So, yeah, we'll just quote it. It's when we start singing Bohemian Rhapsody. And get we sued. Have a problem. Well, we can't get sued well, because I mean, they don't We can't get sued in. for singing it. Right. If we started playing it, then we'd get takedown notices. Possibly. We might get please stop notices. Maybe. Most depending. 
because the singing's not gonna happen until after we've had a couple of these. Yeah, that's right. Like, it's well. gonna be like start singing and headbanging and stuff. But no, this is really delicious. And I had, I actually had a kind of funny story to tell, but then it was trumped today by my fucking Uber passenger. <laughs> I almost made a Facebook live on it, and I was like, no. I was like, do not do car? this. That would be fucking hilarious. I'd be like, yeah, this bitch is doing this. That'd be hilarious. This is the worst customer ever. Hey, guess what? You're live on our feed. Suck a dick. This dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if there's any day that I just want to stop doing Uber altogether because I know my account would be completely um, terminated. But if I was to ever want to do that, then I maybe just there'd be a day that someone pushes me over the edge and I'm gonna be like, look at this dumb bitch, like fucking Facebook Live that. But no, I fought the urge to Facebook because I wanted to Facebook Live that so bad, and I was like, oh my god, we're just gonna do this, and I'm gonna Facebook Live it later. So anyway, I go to pick up this lady, probably middle age, like maybe. I don't know, even late, or like mid fifties to a little bit older. She gets in my car. First thing, she's really chatty. She's like, yeah, I'm on vacation this week. I'm like, all right, cool. She's like, but I still had to go to the doctor. Oh, okay, that sucks. She's like, yeah, I'm having those pesky woman problems. I was like, God damn it. And hey, guess like, what, taxi driver? <laughs> You're gonna get to hear all about my vagina because anytime I talk about my vagina to anybody in my house, they're just like, Dear God, please shoot me. I'm and, you're, and, and you're being paid to listen to me talk about my vagina, so you're going to put up with my vagina. And so she's like talking, she's like those pesky woman problems, and I'm like, God damn it. And then so she starts going on, she's like, yeah, and it, it's not a UTI either, it's the other type of infection. And I was like, what the Herbie. fuck? Herpes? I should have guessed that. Like, wait, herpes? <laughs> No. You want some fat? I'm going to. I am going to ask that next time because this is not the only time this has happened. Would you like some badges to like keep some of the glove box? Any anytime. No, she starts talking about how she's got a fucking yeast infection. I'm like, why the fuck does this bitch want to tell me this shit? I'm like, okay. And, and this is where my head goes. The first thing that when they come in and sit down and start talking about their fucking yeast infection, I was like, man, I hope she'll make my seeds smell. Like that's, that's, that's literally the only thing. And I'm kind of like, I'm wearing a mask. Does she stink really bad and I just can't fucking smell? Or, uh, you know, is it going to be cool? Like, she's going to get out of my car and I'll be all right. Or is the next person going to get in and fucking vomit as soon as they get in? I don't know. Only time will tell. Uh, I'm going to just say for the record, there's only one kind of yeast they like. And that's the kind that makes fucking beer. Maybe you bread. can actually use that kind of yeast to make beer too. You just can. Saying, no. <laughs> I think I've heard of people doing that I before. I posted something on our Facebook page, I think, or maybe I was just looking through stuff, but I saw I, one I, where I they actually, sure. I think it was like, uh, yeast from an actual supermodel or something? I, I think I've, so that's I need probably to, like, the same one I've seen. Go find a supermodel humper. I would not like, try that. Oh. She'd be like, excuse <laughs> me, I need your vaginal yeast. Are you having a yeast infection kind of thing? Cool, I'm going to take that and culture it. No, no, I don't want to hump you. I just want to take your disgusting your yeast infection yeast to make beer. That's pretty hideous. Uh, that's, that'd be the day that I would never drink Ron's beer again. That'd, that'd be, be like, Western beer. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what the mystery beer, you guys? I'd be like, nope, sorry. It's how you come from the vaginal beer. No, but I, I just... Did you have a supermodel you prefer? No, no one at all. But this old lady just... I don't know. Like, why the fuck... I, I'm kind of wondering if do I have in my car somewhere hidden? Like, please tell me about your yeast infection. Like, I, I don't want to fucking know this shit. I hear enough about it at work. If I have a patient, okay, cool, whatever. You know, it's, it's to be expected by my 9,000 year old patient that gives no fucks because she has a lot of caretakers. So she's used to everybody knowing her business. But Jesus, you are your own person and you are not my person. Don't be fucking talking about your dirty old yeast infection. I've heard of this being a thing though, like just with old people. Like I they don't care. Somebody like... They just want somebody to talk to about whatever's going on in their lives and it's their vaginas. Well, somebody I knew, her mom was like a hairdresser or something and like old ladies would come in and talk about their like poop problems and stuff like that <laughs> to her. So you know, like... I, it's, yeah, you, so you have to... That's going to be me when I get old. I'm going to be like, you I know, that bitch. You, you know, I say that. I'm going to just go on. I'm going to take Ubers. I'm going to be rich and I'm just going to take Ubers. That's going to be what I'm, what I'm going to do for a living. I will have these little spy glasses and I'm just going to get in the back of an Uber and I'm just going to shock these people and be like, hey, guess what? Well, I'll be like in their ear and I'll be like real creepy, like, I have a yeast infection. <laughs> I would like to see you do that now. I, I probably could, really. <laughs> they would give me no stars and I would not be able to be a passenger and I'd be drunk one day. I'm like, oh, great, can't find a fucking Uber because I creeped everyone out. <laughs> Maybe you'd pick that 
bright person. It probably has to be a guy or something. Oh god, I'd have a creepy driver <laughs> exactly. too and be like, hey, this is awesome. Yeah. I'm like, dude, that's great. Can I see? No. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna make beer out of it. No, oh, no, no. I'd probably just fucking tuck and roll. Be like, later. So fucking drive down the road. See, Ron's like, he's got those wheels turning now. He's like, now that I'm brewing beer. Nah, nah, there's something. He's like, so, this, this is the Missy. So the problem is, is that, okay, for How one. How can I get that? I'm going to go to the bathroom at her house. <laughs> Son of a bitch, it tastes like semen. Like, <laughs> well, that ain't going to ferment nothing. It's going to ferment a baby in somebody's belly, but that ain't going to happen. <laughs> ferment a baby. Oh, so anything will happen to you this week, Miss Ariana? Uh, I went to a wedding. Yeah. And I broke two pairs of shoes at said wedding. I wanted to know what that was. How the fuck did you do that? Doing absolutely nothing, just from walking. I don't know why, but like, for some reason on the way out, I'm like, I'm gonna take a second pair of shoes just in case my feet get tired because I was wearing heels and like, I'm walking like with, like I have a pair of wedges on and I'm walking and like they, the bottom separated from the top of it. And I'm like, you know, like my foot's clopping. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? You know, like, you know, I thought maybe like my foot was coming in and out of the shoe because they were like just a little bit too big. And I look down and the, like it's actually coming apart. I'm like, God damn it. So I'm like, sweet, I have shit like sandals in the car. So I like go out in the car and then I think I maybe like walked to the table I was sitting at and then I like went to the bathroom and my shoe started flopping around. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> the freaking strap came out of the sandals. That's really hilarious. But there was like legit square dancing at this wedding. Has anybody ever been to a wedding with square dancing? I have not. I haven't square danced, I think, since they forced me to in like grade That's school. Exactly. Like, I don't remember them ever, ever forcing us. We did. We did it like in music class or something one year. I, I can maybe remember and music class. I think a lot of people like, talk about that in gym class or something. I don't ever remember doing that in gym class. I, I remember seeing a Facebook post about some of that stuff. They're like, Blah, blah, blah. Did they ever make you square dance in school? Right. Or was it like some of that uh, yeehaw shit on... Remember seeing some people say that they lived in like more urban areas and talked about like break dancing or attempting to break dance or some shit? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Now, I would have been all cool with that at the school. Break dancing in like middle of nowhere, Ohio for your uh, high school, like middle that. school, like, you know, great, you know, elementary school dancing. That'd that would be hilarious. Like, uh, the people that were square dancing looked like they were actually, like, they were having a good time. Apparently, it's, like, a, nor like, a, I don't know if it's, like, a Catholic thing. It was up north where there's a lot of Catholic people. And I don't know if it's, like, a Catholic wedding thing or it has something to do with that particular county or it's, what. But did anybody see a hoe down and somebody hit the floor? No. It's very hillbilly and it's, it's like, they are. That's, were that's they doing it? Maybe they were doing it, like, ironically? I don't know. Like, the cold water area? Yeah, close to there. Yeah, it was St. Henry. It is. It's very <laughs> hillbillish, and they're like very. I, don't, I can't say like close-minded. There is. It's like Stepford Wives. Maybe <laughs> like they're. It's just they're. Sorry, guys. I would say, say traditional. Stepford traditional, boys. traditional type like. Oh. It's just they're not very open-minded. They're. It's just like one set. This is how you are, and we're not very accepting of anybody who wants to be really weird. And. I'm Right, you don't fit in it. So I I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. There. Was there any cute boys there? Uh, not that I remember. No. Was there any cute guys that looked like they probably had sex with sheep there? Probably. I, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't really paying that much attention to boys. Were there banjos playing? No. But this freaking song that they were square dancing to was like 20 minutes long or something, and I'm like, oh it was like the anagram of like square dancing music. And it got into the beat of that. Was it like a live band or was it recorded? It was recorded. Okay, I was gonna say the live band would have been just like dying up there for twenty minutes. Like it's cool that everybody was having fun to it and stuff, but I'm just like, this is boring to me. I have no like, it looked confusing and complicated and stuff. It looked like it could be fun if I was knew it like I was one doing of those. Maybe, but... Is it like if you watch travel log if you're up and like, and this is a traditional European dance and it's some like <laughs> weird, <laughs> some weird German shit and you know that nobody in their right mind actually does that. And if there's a travel log of like Ohio, they'd be watching in Germany like. And now a traditional American square dance. So 
I, like, I would. You should have recorded that and then like done that. Like done. Um, maybe gotten to some foreign groups on Facebook or some travel groups and been like, okay, guys, this is what it's like in the states. This is what we all do. <laughs> then they would practice up on their square dancing just in case they came to the states for whatever. It's reason. like Borat or something. Yes. And then I was trying to get my friends to square dance the WAP. <laughs> but they wouldn't do it. That's too like, bad. I was like, we should square dance the WAP. Like somebody said they were gonna request that song or whatever. And I was like, we should. Square I was in a spoon. You know, they did they did. I, I would have gone I would there and tried. I would the shit out of WAP. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> so I would be twerking while square dancing the shit out of WAP. <laughs> I was like, let's square dance. We're supposed to be square dancing to this. And they weren't being, I don't know if they Promenade. were like, ignoring me. Like, Wet ass pussy. Promenade. Wet ass <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, I would have totally square danced to some WAP. That would have been great. Yeah, I wanted to so bad. That's great. That's really funny. I, I want to say with that song WAP, I am super shocked. I've not heard it in the nursing homes that are like Cincinnati area, because you go into those nursing homes, and I swear it's like they're playing music kind of loud, and it is a lot of R and B, and like all these old people are just. Either they like it, or I mean, maybe they don't, but it's the workers that they just have it going. I'm like, all right, it's kind of happening here. But I'm like, I, I just wonder what. 80 year old how, grandma's whap? Right. I just, I wonder how. Dust it off. Hit the pledge. Dust it off. Hit the pledge. <laughs> but it's, it's just like, I'm, I'm wondering, like. It's don't just, break the hip. Don't break the hip. How, how dance move? <laughs> <laughs> when you're in a nursing home, probably. Oh, right. Because <laughs> like it's like they're just they're playing it, and I'm kind of wondering. It's like how how bad do these lyrics actually get? The, are the people actually paying attention, or are these just all Alzheimer's all, Alzheimer's people, or are they just all so old and deaf that they don't hear? It? They're not paying attention. It's just it's really funny to hear that because you. I, even as much as like Dayton, uh, you don't hear that in any of the nursing homes. There's not even any music playing. I really don't think you're just walking by all these doors and you're just hearing super loud TVs because all these old deaf people are in the rooms listening to. Their They're watching stuff. Cardi B sing "Wet Ass Pussy." They're not. I'm shocked you like could say Cardi B and knew an actual singer. It's, I'm it's not. That. <laughs> I'm not totally off the rails on things. I, I did run around dressed as a clown all weekend, though. Yes, all day Sunday. Did. Which is why he has a moldy-looking beard. Yeah. I, I, you I don't know, know if it'll show up or not. I but, saw it. I thought I was seeing spots. I was about to um, flip out. The, the movie thing I talked about on last week's That's episode. Right. Um, it was really cool. They filmed at this uh, basically Wild Westing haunted house down east of Cincinnati. Um, don't ask me the actual name of it. I totally forget right now. But um, definitely going to go back there come Halloween time. Um, I played a part of a posse of clowns that was insane, not to be confused with the insane clown posse. And uh, we were taking orders from our leader who was a clown who had red hair and uh, talked like Arnold Schwarzenegger and in rhyme. I don't know much more of the plot of the movie other than the sheriff's a fucking pussy. And my boss clown scared the ever-living hell out of him. And the director had us prancing around in the field for fucking, I swear to God, it felt like hours. Just going, uh, woo, 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 being crazy fucking clowns. Um, at one point, I uh, had a gun, nice little prop gun. And I was talking to it, calling it Charlie after my dog and telling it not to show shoot people. Um... I don't know. It, it was cool. Well, aside from the fact it was like 90 degrees in this fake church they had there. Um, the number one thing I forgot about making movies is it's literally do the same thing like 50 fucking times from different camera angles. I like it and it's fun. I've done it one time and I, I would like to do that more. It's, it's been a long time. Um, it was definitely fun and I ran into all sorts of people that I have not seen in fucking years. How about the guy that sat in the bathtub and had pizza on his nipples? Was he there? No, I have not seen uh, Bradley. I haven't seen shit out of that guy or seen anything on Facebook in a while. Um, like, he kind of faded away after the pandemic. He, to make money, was a uh, wrestler for, like, local Dayton Wrestling League or something. And when the pandemic happened, all that stuff stopped, and he just kind of disappeared off social media, and he pissed off a lot of people in that group that whole movie making group around Dayton so nobody really talked to him much anymore. All I remember is seeing a picture of him on Facebook, probably him, he may have shared, 
I'm trying to. He, what was all in the bathtub? He was sitting in a bathtub. It was a bathtub full of food. He it had like cereal or something. Cereal, but he was pretty much butt ass naked. He had like a slice of pizza over his dick and maybe his nipples or That's something. That was over his dick. But... Yeah. <laughs> it, it was some hot stuff, man. It was really funny. I, I just what like, do you know by, I would like um, to meet this guy. I he went by the name of uh, Trash Bradley. Trash Bradley. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, that was his uh, thing. I should look him up and see if he still exists. I'm sure he does. I know that he had a kid at some point and then kind of whatever after that. So maybe he grew up. Maybe not. <laughs> he, Who knows? he went into hiding because he's got a kid. Either that or Facebook banned him. Well, um, like he lives in West LA, so it's hard to tell. Like so weird. That's really close to me. You know, like the that level of what he can get away with and not. Um, Doing the rinse. The uh, director was listening to him talk, and he was going to be running out, whatever. He's going to be filming another day in June. I don't think I'm going to be on deck for that, because my uh, clown boss, I think I saw him get killed. So I don't think there'll be much more of a need for me, but I did get to experience what it's like to be an insane syphilitic clown. Syphilitic. Yes, I had syphilis. I almost forgot that. Right on. We can do that. Um, now for our next one. Yes. I'm anxious to try the Dorian Coconut. It's got the same, yeah, it's same just, label. It's a coconut stout at 6%, uh, 8 IBU, so bitterness. Um, that's that's a, not a whole lot of bitterness. That, oh. That's about how a lot of their stuff was there. Um, they didn't have anything that's a lot of bitter. They had a lot of, um, oh, the, a lot of German style, uh, crap, what do they call that, Kosch? Oh, Kolsch. Kolsch. Those are good. I like that. I think I'm going to add that to my to-do list to figure out how to brew. That's really good. Do a Hefweizen. Hef Those are good. They had, what was it? Oh, I was thinking this the other day. I still had a lot of my beer kiss beers, and I was just like, it's for those are pretty good, but at the same time, they're really not that good, because I'm just like... These are mediocre at best. I, I don't know. There's something After about them. After a while, do they all taste about the same? A little bit, but also not really. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Something about them is, I don't know. Like, they're more like a, just like a normal beer. They're not very cracked beer. It's like the doing the, the circus at the brewery is very novel and neat, and I could see why people would go back for that. But if all of our beers are brewed similarly and they all taste very similar. They don't stand out very much from one another and it's like, oh wow, this is like not that great. Like I wouldn't go back. Well, I mean, the novelty of the Well, I mean, they had one good. they had one called Lud Light and it was Ludlow Kentucky. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Lud Light, that's their Bud Light right. knockoff. They're trying to like mass market appeal that. Mm. Okay, so that Dorian coconut tastes like a burnt coconut. Like not a bad taste, burnt. like a like a toasted coconut. And that's one of the reasons we picked it. It was actually the only one that wasn't in part of the Sedlet, Seven Deadly Sins menu, so... I had one that tasted similar to this up at 311. Okay. I've had a coconut beer. They're really good. I like them. I didn't even know coconut beer existed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any kind of beer. Anything that's a fruit or otherwise can be made into a beer. Pretty much anything. We already talked about this. You mean like... The, the model vagina. Yeah. Go back to... The... <laughs> Now she's thinking about coconut vaginas. Palm tree swaying know. in the breeze. Reminds me of something. I just don't kind of think so too. Like I don't know what it reminds I me of. I can't place it. it. It puts my mind in the set of like a uh, dark chocolate coconut. Kind of. Oh. Some damn candy I've had that is what it tastes like. I think it's kind of coffee, a coffee, coconut coffee. That's what I think it smells like. I don't know, but my other thought that I was going to say that I did. So earlier this week, I got stuck in the second floor of a hospital and I almost pooped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I pooped my pants! So anyway, so I got me and my partner and we have this patient that we're supposed to... We're basically taking this patient from a uh, standalone ER... She had to have some emergency surgery like later that day, but we were just taking her to the hospital then. And it wasn't super emergent. 
So it wasn't like an immediate surgery. She was getting admitted and then they were going to take her to surgery just whenever she was supposed to have it. But this was about 2 or 3 a.m. I took this patient to the Miami Valley there in Dayton. And um, so my partner had all the run info because we just we switched tablets back and forth so she knew what was going on. She's like, yeah, we're supposed to go to the ninth floor. And then they were getting, we're going towards the elevators. And she's like, well, the room is like zero nine something. And I was like, oh, fuck, that's the tower elevators. Like, this is going to go to a different elevator to get to the, the three-digit numbers versus the four-digit numbers. And I don't know why. It's just stupid because you have two different sections of that hospital. It's like, I don't remember how to get to the tower. So we went through the ER and I finally got someone after they had a fucking trauma. It just like, it was so just rampant with a bunch of people. And I was like, damn it, they're busy as fuck too. And I was just waiting on them. I'm like, okay, whatever. Cause this was early. We're trying to get shit done, trying to get back to the station so we could sleep. So it's tired as fuck. And then, so we, they finally like, oh yeah, you gotta go here and go here. And I was like, okay, I remember where that is now. And then we went to the elevators, and I don't know why this is. Anytime I ever go, like, to any hospital or try to get out of any nursing home, they don't think to do it, like, you know, because sometimes... Poop check? What's that? You don't think to do a poop check? No, well, they probably should. But, so, if, if it's after visiting hours or, like, a certain time at night, most of those places lock their doors. You either have to have a card to swipe in, but the majority of them is a code. I, to me, because I've been to so many places that it's like the codes, like it's like you could almost like super easily figure it out. But so we went to the elevator, we got on the elevator, and I'm like, okay, let's see, you know, and I'm trying to push button, see if I can figure out the code, and then it finally moved. We're like, oh, okay. And it went to the second floor, and the doors open. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Because I thought maybe somebody called it, and I'm like, we could just have them um, put the code in and push ninth floor. And so the doors come open at the second floor, and there's nobody there. I'm like, well, that's weird. And I'm looking around, and I'm like, somebody had to have called the elevator, and I'm still waiting. And so I'm just like, hey, I'm going to go look for somebody on this floor to get us to, um, you know, the ninth floor. I walk out, and I go, and it's completely empty. Like, there's nobody on that floor. Just like creepy haunted hospital empty? Uh, it, almost. I've been to other floors like that, and I swear, those are the floors you always get stuck on, too. Because there's sometimes there'll be like a floor that's just completely closed off. This happened to be same day surgery, which was probably where that lady would have been much later. But it's so this was in the middle of the night. They're not going to be doing that type of surgery in the middle of the night. And this is the same day surgery. So they're like in and out within a few hours. Samoas. Samoas? Girl Scout cookies. Ish. It's, it's got I'm like a, a dark, like a, I don't know, some kind of weird dark taste. It's like a chocolatey, coconutty. That's what I'm getting. I mean, you, don't get, you don't get the caramel out of it, though. I want to say it reminds me of some kind of lotion or something. Like the smell of some kind of lotion. Maybe. Very honest that they're drinking. I, I think kind of cigarish, I think. Yeah. Cigar and coconut. I can see that. But um, that time you almost pooped yourself. Yes. So so, <laughs> so I'm, I'm in this hospital and I'm looking for somebody and I'm like, this is same day surgery. It's fucking three in the morning. Nobody's here and nobody's gonna be here. Why did the elevator get called to that floor? And why is nobody here now? And I'm like looking all around. I was trying to be nice. Like I grabbed a warm blanket for this lady because she kept saying that she was cold. And they did have like the blanket warmers and stuff on that floor. Like everything was still kind of turned on halfway. But even though the lights were kind of dim, and that's just always fucking creepy because I'm walking around. I'm like, you know, am I gonna have somebody just be weird and you know on that level too? And so I was just like, fuck it. And then the blanket ended up not being warm anymore after I carried it around for a while. And I was like, fuck this shit. And I just threw it down. I was like, I'm just sick of this. And I see some stairs. I was like, all right, take the stairs. Well, I take the stairs and I go up to the third floor. That's literally, they end at the third floor. They don't even go down. And there was a whole bunch of offices. I was like, motherfucker. And then I was like, oh God, I have got to poop. And so I'm walking around and I'm like, I know I passed the bathroom somewhere. And I was like, you know, in my own head, I'm like, well, if I can't find the bathroom, I'll just shit on the floor. You can't have cameras in the hospital. That's a HIPAA violation. I, I've had <laughs> nightmares like that where you're walking around and cannot find a bathroom and you that's, have to shit. That, that's, well, I, if my nightmares are always, I have to pee. But you know what? That is like a fucking nightmare now. But I ended up finding the bathroom. So I used the bathroom and I'm still walking around. I'm like, what the fuck? And then my dispatcher, I, get my, I was going to write text my partner and I saw that she texted me, but the text from my dispatcher came through like, hey, Carrie went back to the truck because she couldn't find you. And I was like, all right, cool. And then she finally found her way up to the ninth floor. And then so I was like, fuck it. When I get down, I'll go down there. And so I'm walking around I'm like, maybe I'll just find another elevator that doesn't have a code to it. So I find this elevator and I push the button, like they'll open and you can get on them, but it's like the code's on the inside. 
So as soon as I pushed the button, the door opened, and this chick was there, and we both like got scared and shit, and I was like, okay, cool. And then, so I'm walking, and she's, well, no, I asked her if she could badge me down, because like I no longer need to go to the ninth floor, because apparently my cart made it to the ninth floor, and somebody helped this lady get over onto their cot. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then now I'm in this other area of the hospital that I'm not used to because I find this elevator that's like, this is an employee elevator, so I don't know where the fuck I am in this hospital, on the first floor. And this is more of a warehouse type area. They got like other hospital beds that are not being used, some just like maintenance equipment. I was like, what the fuck? And then all the doors are locked because it's past hours and nobody's here and it's the warehouse shit. And I'm just walking around aimlessly. And this is legitimately this like, Missy, you died. You didn't realize it. You're trapped. You're in hell. That's, and your hell is this like. hospital that's where you eternally exactly have to it's, shit. It, it is. It's, it, you well, I already, have, I already went to the bathroom. Well, the you're going to be eternally trapped in the hospital and you're going to have to shit again and never find your way out. But it's, it's just like... There's been several times I've been stuck in a hospital like that or on a floor that nobody is. And it's like, holy fuck, this mm -hmm. is creepy. And it's, I'm, I finally found my way out. But it's like, because I passed one person. They didn't say anything. And I didn't want to ask them. They're like, hey. There he goes. Because, right. No. I, they probably what it was. They're like, I hope she didn't see me. And I'm like, I hope she didn't see me. Or they were the living and she was the ghost. I yeah. Mean. they Maybe that's what they thought it's it was. Better, it's like, you know. It, Alt you, alternate and, dimension. And she was thrown in like an insane asylum. And she's still trapped in there. She died in there in her soul. And we're just figments of her imagination. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She's really Make sitting sense. there, you know, in this corner going. <laughs> Makes sense. It's, a, I, it's, it's just, all a dream. You feel like you're in an alternate dimension, I swear. It's just like, oh my God, this is fucked up. And I finally get out to her. And my partner, she told me she was pushing buttons. And then she pushed a code. And I'm like. No, I push those buttons. It's because it's like you know, just any code. It's like sometimes these places are so creative, and it's like the same six number. Six nine, six nine. Right. It's yeah. It's just like something that you can easily guess. Like just write in one row, or like the same number like five times. And she goes, I pushed, I pushed the. That's really funny. I like, Is that one? That it's uh, all the time. It's like getting right into the ER, but it's like. Um, it's right, right. I don't think anybody's. It ever was such a secret. I just care. guessed it by pulling right. things out of my ass. But it's, it's, and that's basically like they're all that easy. So she said she pushed a certain one. I don't know what she said she pushed. And I was like, no, I tried that one. Because those are all the classic ones that we push when we're waiting outside of a nursing home. And they're like not letting us in because they like to take naps in the middle of the night. And they're on their fucking phones at the nursing station. And when you How finally... How do you spell old, uh, What's the numbers for old F? Old, old fuck. Is it, it ever been that code? I don't know. I, there was one that it's... What song is it? Fetty Wap, and there was like a set of numbers. What What's the numbers for WAP? It's, well, no, it's, no, it's like in that song, it's like, I don't know, there's like a three and a seven, and I can't remember. And it's, but like one, one time, my partner, when he, because he went to go do something, he went out to the truck, and I was going to the bathroom, he's like, Cody, get out, it's Fetty Wap. I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. And then it's like the song that has those numbers, and I'm like, and then I just got out. I was like, this is, like, I, it's, you can really tell where you are geographically for stuff like that. It's just like, okay, cool. I get it. It's, it's understandable. It's just, it's really funny. Yeah. So, um, another poop story that will never happen. Oh, wow. Is this becoming like our theme? It's just for tonight. <laughs> this lovely lady right next to me has asked for, for years for me to poop my pants on her birthday. He, one day he was asking me what I wanted for my birthday and he said that he was a cheap bitch and that I had to keep it cheap. I was like, shit yourself. Like, I have yet to shit my pants. It's been many, many years since that day, and I probably never will shit my pants. I have a poop story about someone shitting their pants, and this is a great fucking story. I'm gonna drink some more beer. So anyway, at, when I used to work at a, this, this other- This is a Missy Poop Show. She's pooping in her pants. When I worked at Not this really. other um, ambulance company, I worked third shift with this girl, and she was a very gassy girl. And she was always poopy. And she would be like, she would tell me, she goes, oh man. And she would do this weird shit too. Like one time she FaceTimed me and she's like, hey, can you go? And she was, she was shitting because she FaceTimed me. <laughs> and she's like, hey, can you go to dispatch? And I like her already. She, she's so like, Missy, you were asking like, what the fuck's up with old people that just talk about their like bodily problems? She is going to be one of those old she people. Will. She will. She is one of those old people. She's younger than I am. <laughs> she's, so, she, so she's like, she, she FaceTimed me. She goes, Go to dispatch. I need to talk to dispatch. I was like, holy fuck. I was like, okay, let's go. I'm like, Brittany wants to talk to you. She's like, dude, what are we, you know, she's on the toilet. And it's like, so she's just like, 
And she goes, hey, you know, if we get a call, add an extra 10 minutes ETA. <laughs> Clean up time, man. Clean and up time. And that's so you know she had that thing, and then she was always just very gassy or always had to poop. So there's one day we um, and the station that we were at was like their maintenance station. When that so when they fixed all the vehicles, they just would take them to that station. And then so when we were on third shift, we weren't as busy. So if they wanted a vehicle to go back out to one of the other stations, we was we were taking it out there. So the thing we had to do. They wanted us to take like one of the brand new trucks that they got and they, you know, got it ready and had it inspected at the Greenville station. They wanted to take him out to Sydney. And at the time, like the girl, she lived close to Sydney. So she's like, she likes taking the back roads there. And she like, you know, dispatch told us to take and drop that truck off. She goes, well, hey, she goes, just so you know, you know, when we go out there, she goes, I'm feeling a poop brewing. She's like, so when we <laughs> get out there she's like i'm gonna go poop at my house because as much it feel, always feels more comfortable poop at your own house they're so like okay just let us know so we get going and I, i'm following her because we're dropping that vehicle off and i'm gonna bring her back but i follow her and she literally just whips it over as soon as we get out of the lot i was like oh my god is she shitting on the side of the road already because this is like a like she never shit on the, well i can't say she's never shit on the side of the road because that's the story it's about but she, <laughs> she there's been several times she's pissed on the side of the road so anyway like, you know, we're going, and this is in the middle of the night, too. Um, and I'm following her, and well, because she, she pulls out, and then she hops out to the other side, and she just pushes the mirror out. I was like, okay, she's like fixing the mirror. And then, you know, so I call her, I was like, I thought you were shitting already. She said, no, you know, whatever. And then she calls me back a few minutes later. She's like, I have really got to shit. She's like, and she was gone. Like, I was like, where the fuck is she? And I'm, I'm traveling kind of fast because there's no traffic out there. It's in the middle of the night. It's out in the middle of the country. And she was like super gone. I was like, holy fuck. So after a while, I finally see like the truck. I see the lights to the truck. I'm like, she pulled over. I was like, what the heck happened? You know, what's going on? And so I pull up and she's squatting over here on this side of the truck. I'm like, oh, and she's doing one of these. She's like, come here. And I, I'm I like, I want to show you my extra super special food. I, I was like, what the fuck is she doing? She's like, come here. She's trying to wave me closer. So I'm like inching the truck up closer. I'm like, I thought maybe she wanted to see light. And she's like, come here, you know? And I'm like, oh, fuck. So I get out. I'm like, what? She's like, I need something to wipe with. <laughs> and, and so, you know, I'm getting her these, these wet wipes. So the, it's just like, it's, it's actually like an Ohio code. You have to keep like the um, personal wipes in the truck. I get them for her. They're like, they're so dry. They like the thing dried out because I never got used. And so I give them to her. And she's like, what should I do with these? I was like, fucking throw them down. I don't want them. She's like, get over here and look at this. I'm like, no, what the fuck is wrong with you? And she, <laughs> and she's, she holds my and, and she's like, <laughs> She wants me to, she's like, I need something to sit on. So I go, I get this biohazard bag and so she can put it on the front seat because, of course, this is a brand new fucking vehicle. It had less than 100 miles on it since when she straightened herself in this truck. Wow, and she uh, broke that truck. And good. she was like, she, she's. Forever stained she, that truck was. Ruined for all time. She goes, she, um, so, well, so when she's finally done, I, I feel like maybe I'm still standing there because I know I can hear her. And, and she's she's waddling to the truck. She literally looks like a two year old with a loaded diaper. And she's like, I smell like shit. <laughs> she walks around to the front of the truck and she puts that biohazard bag in there and she sits down and then like you know we're going on our way. So then something something so much for the smell of fresh leather on a new truck. No. So now she's like, again she's gone. I'm like, what the fuck happened? She calls me. She's like, I've got to shit again. <laughs> and so she's going. She's going like so fast and. Like, so her thing is... So Chinese food or Taco Bell? It was Big Boy. She ate a sandwich from Big Boy. Um, come to find out, like, a couple years later, she's actually lactose intolerant, so it's probably the cheese on that. But anyway, so she's gone again, and she's like, oh, you can either, you know, I'm going to hit this gas station. You can either wait on me there or go to my house. Like a dummy, I went to her house. Like, because I would have loved to see this fucking show. And she's like, so she's... um. So from her perspective at this point, you know, after everything's done and she goes to her house and cleans off, she comes out and, you know, we drop that one truck off and she's like trying to spray shit in it so it doesn't stink. And she's like, well, I cleaned everything up real good. She's like, get in here, smell, see if it stinks. I'm like, no, God damn, no. And then I finally did. And it was really weird because it smelled like bananas. I don't know what the hell she sprayed or ate, but it's whatever. It's cool. Bananas. And so, like, on the way back, she's like, don't tell anybody, please don't tell anybody. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm she didn't tell anybody it. until, well. No. The thing of it is, 
she immediately posts it on Facebook, shit happens. All her friends know her. They're like, what did you do? Did you shit yourself? Like, immediately, <laughs> everybody's asking. And so when she's talking about it, you know, she's, she said, well, the part that I missed, the gas station, it was the show that I really wish I had been there for. So apparently she's trying to, like, go through the little town of, um, I was, was Versailles when we were trying to hit through Versailles. And she's trying to go to the gas station. She said she about flipped on her lights and sirens because there was this truck in front of her that kept stopping at nearly every yellow light. Anytime a light would turn yellow, it would slow down. She said she was like so fucking pissed. She about hit her lights and sirens, but then um, she saw the police and she didn't want the police to like make question them... what she well, was doing. Well, they didn't want her like them to like. She didn't want the police to become a chase car. Sometimes they'll do that just to like kind of escort you. And she's like, you know, if they escorted her to the gas it's an station, emergency. I have to poop. <laughs> I literally, I feel. If if they had, it's not like they would have ticketed her. They she would have she would have smelled so god awful like shit. <laughs> and, and so, but I this is the show that I wish I would have seen. So she said when she hopped out of this this truck to go run to the bathroom, she said the biohazard bag that she had been sitting on stuck to her ass, and so she hopped out and started blowing the opposite way of the gas station door. And so she's like now chasing this biohazard bag trying to get it. And every time she bends down to pick it up, she shits herself a little bit more. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> and then she finally gets to the door. So, you know, she gets to her house and we're on the way back. She tells me all of this. And I'm like, this is so fucking hilarious. And she's still, you know, like, even though she posts on Facebook, shit happens. She's like, hey, don't tell anybody this. Okay, so the first thing that happens when we're waiting on, like, you know, to, the, to, be, to be able to clock out, our captain clocks in and she looks up at him. She's like, I shit myself last night. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he, he went to school with her. He was like, that doesn't surprise me. She sounds amazing. <laughs> I pooped my pants. Yeah, I know, Becky, you did. She's a lot of fun. Well, see, the thing, that was fun. She was a lot of fun. And she did tell a good handful of people that story, but then I think she wanted to be able to finally forget about it. But anytime anybody new came to that company, I was like, hey, you hear about the time she shit her pants? Everybody at the company knew about the time that Brittany or Bambi, whichever one you want to call her, because that was her nickname, about the time that Bambi shit her pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny story. Lordy. It's, you know, that's, you should shit your pants. Shit your, you should shit your pants the day you told your boss to fuck off. You know, or on that, the desk. That's <laughs> right. Sitting on his desk as you're talking to him, telling him to eat a bag of dicks. Uh, what? Yeah, eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Are you okay there, dear? For those that can't see on the audio, Ariana's dying over here. Like she had to hold in the beer so she didn't spit it all over the place. So I'll tell you what, if this particular episode gets a thousand likes, I will I shit my, my pants. pants. Like, yes, <laughs> come on! Like this video so Ron Make shits this himself. Birthday great. Oh my god, this it's is in November. Great. Yes! Like this video so Ron shits himself. I have months. <laughs> Like six months or something. Uh, it's going to be I, one I of those things wait. that I totally I can't forget about it. Wait. She's going to be like, yo, bitch, remember <laughs> this? <laughs> It'll be a thousand <laughs> likes by November. Like, God damn it. This will be so great. You better feed me some fucking great Mexican. I'll feed you whatever you want to shit. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. driving. Um, well, I will bring it to you. <laughs> We're not going to... Well, I guess today, that day, we'll be recording the podcast at at, at Ron's house. In my bathroom. <laughs> It'd be so funny. We'll just go outside. Be like a live feed. That's right. Well, you for know... For my ass. We, we can always, like... He can, live, he can be recording from his bathroom, and then, like, we'll just be in the living room there, like, just yelling to him, like, Hey, man, you good? And they're like... Yeah. I'll get this wireless headset thing sorted out by then. I think whatever I bring him, though, I would totally be roofing it with a lot of um, x lax so he would totally just... <laughs> hey, Ron, brought you some food. Okay. Well, you guys got a thing for roofies today. She was all earlier, did you roofie the beard? You're going to roofie me with x lax That's right. You are bringing this beard that was open. I mean, right. what are we supposed to think? You know what we're taught as females, right? That's right. I never, know. never accept a, a drink from a dude exactly. unless you know him. And sometimes, even if you know him, he seems sketchy. Well, Ron, you guys were all sketchy. talking about like being drugged last time or something. Oh, that was one of the. I don't know if it was last. It was time before last, I think. Was it? I don't remember. You're talking about that. like your ex-husband and those dudes giving you the weird. Beer oh, that whatever. was the last time. I, I was thinking you were talking about your. Um, your, uh, oh, fuck, what was it? 
the uh, your eye doctor. So you hear a little. Oh. And yeah. then like you had like your d paralysis oh, demon. Like that's becoming a thing too. <laughs> right. I promise I will never drug you and rape you. Getting drugged and pooping. You can do this. You can drug me and rape me though. Okay. We already know. We're gonna drug you and let you poop yourself. I mean, it's the strobing butt. It's already been done. Ron. It's the strobing butt know. plug, so I'll likely be <laughs> right. with one of those. So yeah, that, that would be hilarious. I, I would get butt plug after butt plug and just shove them up choo choo train style. If you're gonna go shove them, <laughs> yes, if you're gonna do that, get like those balls on a string. <laughs> end to end, the get, balls on a string. The um, what are the balls on the beads. string? There you go, animal yeah. beads. If you're gonna start shoving things in my ass, at least do that, okay? I'm gonna pull that bitch out like a fucking ripcord to a lawnmower. <laughs> I wonder what kind of noise he would make. I mean, his butt might make a certain noise, but <laughs> my poor anus. <laughs> but I think also as well, um, you know, like there would be a very good audible scream and squeal, ooh, ooh, whimpering and stuff. That'd be really great. That's a good beer. Yes, like this is good beer. It gets you really beer fucked up super quick. It is good. I think that tequila one that we had in the beginning kind of like got me a little like. Yeah. Like so um, last night I took one of my uh, next batch of beer out, which I've named uh, Zach's Sad Loss Taster Glass. I like that you use the taster glass. Yes. Right. And um, so half it's a Mexican lager. When I brewed it, I have lime peel and agave nectar in it. I took half of it and just left it as was. The other half I poured in like a pint of uh, 80 proof Jose Cuervo. That is what these ladies and I have drank tonight before we started. I'm gonna really like, I don't know, like I didn't have a buzz. Maybe it's because I ate right before that. Usually if I eat, I don't know. I was gonna say the times before, I usually had a buzz off that first beer and I think I had a pretty similar day but it was only a part of the beer too but it was still good i don't know for my right. for me it's been so long since i've had straight tequila last night i was drinking tequila unfortunately there was no one there no ladies there was a tequila makes your clothes fall off mine didn't fall off either i'm not that much of a lady but uh eh, it was good beer not not yeah i got lady boobies <laughs> a little bit of a lady. There um you go. the uh the beer is named after my buddy zach and I made him send me a selfie last night of him looking sad and pathetic. Oh, that's not the right Hi, Zach. He's sad and pathetic. And I'm going to Photoshop a Mexican mustache and sombrero on him in little tears and on the bottle because he uh, cried about his missing taster glass for all these times. I would be upset about my taster glass, too. His are uniquely acquired, every single one. He, he's asked me to bring it back to him, and I'm going to make him come to my place to get it. And it still ain't happened yet. All right, so are we ready for mystery since we finished we that? We are. So how are we doing the mystery beer? Are we doing like a we're blind gonna... taste test? Yeah, we decided we're going to start doing a blind taste test. Like one person's going to bring the mystery beer and the other two are going to try to guess what it is. And I'm going to be fucking terrible with this. I might be pretty decent depending. She might be. It, it, it depends on what the flavor is. Like, this tastes is. like ass. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be like, this is, this is a sour, this is an IPA, this is a stout, and beyond that, a bourbon barrel. Other than those, I wouldn't, unless it has like a certain flavor that I would be able to guess what's in it. My palate is not that refined yet. And so I will get there. If ever, it's trash. Trash palate. <laughs> trash palate. Trash palate. Going up trash in the, uh, the trash. Gotta hide my from. eyes. All right, ladies. Okay. Close your eyes. to bring koozies to cover this shit. Yes, just lift your shirt up and cover your eyes with their shirts. <laughs> That'll get this episode some more likes. She show some boobs. There we go. I'm gonna show boobs. Hey, she did it. She's slick. She knows what she's doing. All right. Number one, lady. We have a nice clear color, so it'll be hard to tell just by I the color. See my own boobs. Oh, did you bring us a thing? It's like water. I can see my own boobs. That's great. A little more here. So, so I feel like this is a seltzer because I looked at area. I can smell cup. it. It smells like grapefruit. All right. Not great for you. Go ahead. Okay. Ooh, it is. Grapefruit. I don't have that refined of a <laughs> palate. I can smell it. It's grapefruit. That's a good seltzer, though. It's. Is it grapefruit? It is tequi tequila soda, cantina, uh, grapefruit, uh, Pomonoma. Hell yeah. The hotel I stayed at in Indianapolis. Paloma. Indiana. I didn't even taste it. The grapefruit. There you go. The hotel I stayed at in Indianapolis. Had a shit ton of craft beer in the cooler. 
I like it. There's that for the camera. I have, this is really good. I like it too. See, this is like one where it's a good summer one. 99 yes. calories, yes. Like, I just mowed the yard and I'm sweating my fucking ass off. Yeah. 99 calories, one carb, and zero sugars. So this is a really good, um, this is really good for a, um, a white thing, the seltzer. What was the, what's the alcohol on there? 5.6. Wow, it's more than I thought. So it's, it's uh, got Blanco tequila with natural grapefruit and orange flavors. That's why it's good with the orange. Because I've had some grapefruit ones of these, and they're rather, they're bitter. Where's they're they're not so sweet. Uh, I didn't even look when I grabbed it. And craft born in Austin. Texas? Maybe. There's there's no other Austin that's like, yep, and there's a Texas on the back. Born in Austin and Hico in Mexico? Maybe Mexico. Maybe Mexico. He, right. May, Mexico. I, I, I'm Spanish too, for Mexico. I'm too white to be able to do that properly. Mexico? So, yes. Si, Mexico. This artisanal spirit is crafted with precision and passion. Saludos. Salute. I feel passionate. Feel passionate for more grapefruit, tequila, Perfection. Soda. Cantina is the perfection union of spirit and artistry. With a history dating back to the 1840s, our tequila is made from premium blue Weber agave in the heart of Tequila Jalisco. So, so I knew the, uh, the, the taster glass, my tequila beer was coming mm, out, mm, and when I was looking through their cabinet and I saw the tequila on there, I'm like, oh, that's sold right there. That's really good. I absolutely like that a lot. Yeah, I do. This is good. Nice and refreshing. I would drink that a lot when I'm trying and to be... And it's freaking hot in here right now, so it's like nice and refreshing for... I would drink this a lot when I'm trying to be healthy. The, like, literal only complaint that I had about, I could have about this, this was hotel beer cooler prices. Ooh, God. That, that's $8 only for a can that should have been more like... It was $4. Eight. It was $4, exactly. but still. The, the dude was, like, looking around the computer for it. He's like, ah, I can't find it. I'll just charge you what they charge you about. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, God. $4, 12 cents. Fuck! I feel like this is why you don't drink in hotels without bringing your own. Should be like eight to twelve dollars for a six pack because it's well, it's as delicious as it is. I'll put it in between a white claw and a truly, as far as sweetness, because trulys are pretty sweet and white claws are not that sweet, and it's right there, pretty much in the middle. Now I will state that the uh, beer for this trip was uh, paid for by uh, me pimping one. Yay. Uh, nice. I went over to Indy for a couple of reasons. A uh, cousin of mine who I haven't seen in a long damn time, her kid was having the kid's second birthday, and I saw a girl that I worked with, like, at this point, probably 10, 12 years ago. And I brought a few bottles of that blueberry wine, and she bought them off me. So, uh... Nice. Why don't you just, uh, write the, the trip off, tax right off? Because I didn't pay for most of it. It's okay. You didn't pay for most of it, or the wine pasted most of it, paid for most of it. The wine paid for Because I was gonna right. say, if you bitched, if you pulled the bitch move and had your girlfriend pay for it, I would just. No, like, actually. Okay, no. all right. No. That's the so, wine. So that's, the wine I was like, you made your girlfriend pay for it, you fucking bitch. No, the wine paid for it. Super good. I, I really, I would drink a lot of those because I, I do like the, um, the grapefruit, um, white claws. It's, it's like a hell of a flip from the other two we had. It just because the, the, the other two were definitely dark, this is crystal clear. Right. That would be good like if you were at a cookout or something and just it like be. it's hot outside or whatever. Yeah. It's like a pool party or something. It is. I got a really good buzz. Yeah. I do too. <laughs> I do. We're all fucked up. <laughs> we're getting good fucked I knew up this we were going to get fucked up. Woo! There's still more Dorian Woo! Coconut and Sweet Ron. Yes. Who wants the Those sweet? Those good. Who wants the sweet Ron? I can't even decide which one's my favorite. That, that was the problem with... I think, I, I don't know, right. That was the problem with being there because just about everything that I had at uh, Scarlet Lane, all of it was fucking good. But, you know, 32 ounces, you kind of had to make your make your call, you know? Right. I went to uh, Eudora. It's in Dayton. I, um, 
So I went there. I took my kids there because I, I heard they were known for their food. I don't think they're. I mean, like their food was good. It's they don't have a very big menu, but it's it's. I think this is like a brewery thing. I don't know why they do it. You go in, you order your food here, you order your beer here. There were like two separate place like things, but it's like a big huge open area, and there's actually like a couch and some like a table back in the corner where people don't really sit. I was like, we could do a and we do a podcast from that place, and so their flights are. They're either, what are they, $5 flights or $8 flights, and they're four ounce, and so like it's, it's usually like four or five ounce pours, but it's either three four ounce pours or six four ounce pours, so you get six on a flight, and... Um, you get just about everything. Yeah, you, you can do like a whole lot, and they were all like super good. Um, and I even really liked the IPA I had, and, I'm, and I think it was a double IPA, so it was like, I was shocked how good it was. And so on their thing that carries them, there's like a one through six, and they just give you a little card that's one through six they write on. And so it's like, um, it's just like right there. So I had six four ounce pours for $8, which I, mean, I thought that was a pretty decent price. You know, I got to try like six beers. And then I had food with the boys, and you bust your own tables. And I, I left a tip because there was a tip jar for the beer side, the brewery side, but there wasn't a tip jar for the food people. You bust your own tables. I like the three of us ate and I had my beers and I tipped a little bit for a well, I tipped like 50% on my beers. $50. Like $50 in and out, the three of us. I was like, that's not a bad price. It was like the weekend before when I went to Warped Wing, there was four of us and I had a um, a flight of four, no, a flight of five. I spent like nearly $100. Um, I, I won't lie, these two bottles and that can were forty dollars on their own. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. The uh, you get in the growler, they're a little bit more expensive. I mean, you know, you drink this entire thirty two ounce or on your own, you're probably gonna be getting a good buzz out of that. Yeah, that's you know what though? Like that's the one thing I will say about the beer kiss. So their their growlers are um Aluminum. Well, I was gonna say they're like those uh, the monster energy drink bottles that have the the cap that you can put back on. So I feel like they're like um, uh, they might. I think they're twenty four ounce, the, but they're only eleven dollars a piece. And if you bring them back, they're nine dollars a fill up. I'll well, say so they did offer a discount on it, and the the caps are kind of like one of those Lipton tea bottle caps. So I would assume they just snap a new cap on it, but still. Probably. So they offer a discount if you bring it back. It's bottle. like twenty percent discount if you get another refill with their, one of their bad. models. So you said that was four dollars, so that's thirty-six, so those were thirteen something each. Something like that. I don't know, I was ha I was feeling pretty good at the time, so numbers were a little fuzzy. So we got thirty-four, thirty-two would be sixteen, so about they're seventeen each, something yeah. like that, unless they were under forty dollars altogether and it was more like thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-two ounce or that's what how many regular twelve ounce beers? Three not even three. Yeah. Craft beer, that's kind of debatable for what you're getting in some places. But it was also... But it's also, yeah. It's, it's all... Oh, no, we're good. Maybe we should get something that's, like, close to here. Like... We should try, I mean, like... We a, do, we should. Was it AJ's Winery? Are they even open during the week? ARs. ARs, whatever it is. so. We can do that. We can do that as a test case for our uh, traveling, traveling drunk circus. Hell, yeah. And then there's... I was going to... Well, you wanted the hairless hair. That's in Vandalia. Yeah, that's not too far. That's, like that's not. Yeah, it's not too far. I was. I was almost gonna think that it might have been a closer place, but it's not closer. But yeah, either or, we can just adventure and branch out, and eventually, like, go to you know other places, cool places. See, so we start getting rich at this. We'll do like a Patreon and be like, yo, where do you want us to go drink beer and talk about poop next? <laughs> and, and, and they'll be like, the beer poops. Be like. Yo, if you want us to go to your town and drink some beer and talk about poop with you as a special guest, in your town. kick in, <laughs> kick yes. in all this money on Patreon so we can afford the hotel and the beer, and you're in. And if you want to, that's all, that's what Ariana said. If you want to roofie us in your town, there you go. <laughs> Game on. And suddenly all the gay bars want me because of a sexy, sexy Harry Berry oh, bear man. Yes. There you go. Ew, <laughs> girl. Oh yeah. Do we have anything else cool to say? Um, my daughter turns sixteen tomorrow. Oh, yay for her! Th th this is a daunting task. Um, I'm taking some sweet ron. Do you want any sweet ron? 
Uh, I want some more sweet, sweet rum. Oh, they want all the sweet rum. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like, legitimately, I bought that because I thought it was good and I knew there'd be some jokes about it. There you go. I did not honestly sweet. think. I thought most of you guys were like, Ron, you're not sweet. Shut the fuck up. Nah, no, no, no. I not. just figured you, like, added an extra ingredient to it or something. Well, I made it extra sweet uh -huh. for you. <laughs> I had an appointment yesterday, and I got all the way down the road, and I forgot, realized I forgot my phone, oh. and I was like... Feeling felt, naked? Yeah, I felt naked. I'm like, what the fuck? What am I going to do? What if I get a flat tire? It's like the first thing I think, and I'm like, you know what? We've lived through this <laughs> before. <laughs> like, half of our life was without phones, but... I still remember the reason I got a cell phone, because I was, for the longest time, everybody I knew started getting the cell phones, and I refused to get one. I was like, you did. Too. I remember when I you refused like to too. get one. That's I refused like to fucking get one, because it's like, man, I'm just never going to get off the goddamn thing. But um, it was back when I worked at Hastings in Richmond. I borrowed my dad's old shitty Chevy Lumina van to get to work, because my shitty car broke down. Um, unknown to me, his uh, fuel gauge didn't work. That's good stuff. I got halfway there, and I was driving down, you know, just regular state highway and the thing died I'm like fuck and I'm like well now what the hell do I do well I need to get on the phone and ask dad you know maybe five ten miles from the house I'll get on the phone and ask dad what the hell's up with this van I'll just ask this nice farm over here farm people they're cool right because mm -hmm. my dad's a farmer I walked up to this house knocked on the door this fucking old bitchy lady popped out with a double barrel shotgun in my face <laughs> told me to get the fuck off her property wow and that's like, gonna happen and I was like okay um, I did eventually get to use the phone. She did put the gun down, but after that I got a cell phone because, you know what? Don't wear a shotgun to the face, just pointing at you out at somebody's door. Crazy old lady. Crazy old lady. It's enough to go, you know what? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Shit. Something, something, kind of strangers. No, fuck strangers. They're all fucking insane. I don't even know what made me get one because I had a flip phone forever and I'm like, I'm not getting a smartphone because I'll, you know, I just like watch people and they're just like this constantly. I'm like, I'm not going to be that person. You are that, that person. person. <laughs> I had a uh, ridiculous. I what did I so I had I had one of those shitty track phones, first thing I got, and a boyfriend's grandmother got it for me because I was working forty five minutes away from the house and she was so worried I had just graduated and you're a grown woman now. I'm gonna break the seal. Alright, you break the seal. I'm sorry. He's a girl. No, he's not. But she got me that and then ever since then, like after a while because I just was buying minutes was dumb and there was you know, I had one of those too, and I fucking never used it. That's so I didn't use it a lot either. Like I, it's because you had to watch. You're like, well, what do I need to save these minutes in case I need something. Right. And it's like I, I did rarely use it, and then I ended up that's I got a flip phone for a while. But I think once the smartphone thing happened, because my dad's all into technology, and that's you know part of his job. He had iPhone. I yeah. wonder if it has to be moving if it's doing it because it's sitting still if it's an action cam. Cause it doesn't. It didn't do that the other day when I was on my motorcycle, and I I was out for like an hour, and my other one didn't do that either. I I it might be because it's just sitting still. I wonder if we should get like a different camera. I'll see. Camera right. I'll see if my other GoPro does it, and then if the other one doesn't do it, but then you know maybe after, we can just pitch in, save, and get a good camera that's like a good still, that you can also. Uh, zoom in on the camera instead of having to wait till you're editing. Cause I really don't know. Like that's like, it's, I wonder if that's the the key. The only, you know, if it's on for so long and it's not moved, then it's just gonna turn off. Maybe it's a possibility. It makes sense, I guess. I have returned, and when I was in the bathroom, I had a flashback of something that we need to bring back. You remember back in the day when you'd hit like star six nine? Block Colorado. I just told my kids about this the other day. This bitch right here oh, next the, to me. I was thinking about that too. All the time, whenever she would go to the bathroom anywhere, no matter what, after I got a cell phone, she would hit star six. There was six no caller ID on them. There was no caller ID that on them. That was the first part of it. Um, she would hit star six nine, and wherever she was at when she would take a shit, she would call me from the bathroom. And be like, hey, Ron, or not even hey, Ron, just flush the toilet noise and be like. It's, because at, at that point, there was no caller ID on the phones. There was like, you didn't see who was calling you. There was no anything about it. And so I would call him. He'd just be like a random hello. And like, 
These days, if you see a block number, you're like, no, no, right. I ain't answering it. In those days, you know, there wasn't so many scammers, so you'd answer the phone. I tried doing it from my uh, my smartphone, and it's just no fun because it's like he saw that I was calling. He was like, yeah, and it just it took the fun out of it. At best, now I think we could bring it back to Snapchat randomly. You could, or like, um, well, I was gonna say, but all those apps, you kind of know who's calling you. Well, I already know, you know, I already know that it's gonna be you. Right. I mean, if Ariana was on Snapchat like that, I would definitely just randomly, you know, but I, but I think that like the ID noises. comes up regardless. The, the ID comes up regardless. Because I was telling my kids about that. I don't start since nine anymore. Like, it I still I, works. I was gonna say you it can still. still I think you still can, because when I was I was telling my kids. I, don't, I saw like a, a billboard and the place was called AAA something. I'm like, yeah, this doesn't even work to do that anymore. Like there's no need to try to get your listing the first and the yellow pages because nobody uses the yellow pages. And I thought that, and then I was telling the boys about that, you know, how I saw that sign and I was telling them like how like the yellow pages work versus, and then like you have the regular phone book that had everybody's number in it unless they paid to not have it in there. And I was like, they don't even have phone books really anymore. And I was telling my kids about that, and then one of my kids was like, is your refrigerator on? And I was like, yeah, that was one that was probably commonly done. But then I was like... You were talking about the phone books. This is like 12 years ago now when I was still working at that mom and pop video game shop. I remember like a Yellow Pages salesman coming in one day and saying, hey, you know, we can get you in the Yellow Pages to the guy that owned the store for like 50 bucks for a year. It's a hell of a deal, man. You'll be in that there. That is a hell of a deal. And, and his response was... You know, they invented this thing called Google, right? Right, it's not even this worth This was like it. 12 years ago. He's like, yeah, fuck you, man. No, get out. But here, let me just leave you these three samples of yellow, okay, yellow pages. Dude, just take them with you. We won't use them, man. We won't even use them for toilet paper. Right. Because I, I remember the last time I saw a phone book, the, uh, the yellow pages was actually bigger than the white pages. And then it was like, because nobody has a home phone, you know? And, but it was when I was telling my kids about it, and then the one said, uh, is your refrigerator running? And I was like, yeah. But then the other one that I said, I guess people probably did a lot. I was like, it's like you call a bowling alley, like, do you get 10 pound balls? How the hell do you walk? <laughs> and then I, I stopped. <laughs> I remember that. I, I remember calling like teachers and shit and pranking yeah. teachers. Like uh, Frank Haley, her mom let us prank people. And uh, Kathleen's parents were cool like that. They let hey, us uh, prank let me people. See your cup. And I do, I remember. The, this pranking. last little bit right here. That's where the magic of the roofies lies. I, I remember pranking our... We're all going to pass out and someone's going to sneak in and rape us. Yeah. Our yeah, Ohio history hours. teacher. <laughs> that, I, remember, I remember pranking the Ohio history teacher. And I remember when I was at Kaylee's house and we would be pranking people. We had... I don't know. We just started doing this and it was really stupid. We didn't say who we were. We didn't have like a, an official company name or anything like that. But we were just like, Hi, how's it going? We're uh, taking surveys. And it was, I think it was like we were asking if you liked your peanut butter creamy or crunchy. And a lot of people just answer, oh, yeah, I like crunchy peanut butter better. Okay, thanks, bye. And that was it. Yeah, that's all we did. A lot of people actually answered as if they were like, okay, I'm supposed to do this. And I remember the one time she asked somebody that and they asked why. So she got pissed off and yelled at him, I just want to fucking know, creamy or crunchy. So... The, the, that reminds me of a uh, conversation <laughs> I was having this morning on Facebook. There's some chick, one of those actor chicks in that, in that group of people I was talking about earlier. And she, whatever role she was doing, she was playing a stripper. She's pretty hot and she was dancing. One of the guys that was on the set being an extra, like, found her and started messaging her all creepy and oh, shit. Nice. And, you know, I made some comment about, I don't understand how that works. It, it's got to be like those guys that send dick pics. I mean, you know, it doesn't work. And it just launched this big conversation. And I realized the reason that sending dick pics like that works is the same reason that the, the telemarketer calls work. They'll fire off to a thousand people and get like one to two percent of the time. Absolutely. Exact. It's, it's quantity over quality at that matter. Yeah. So, you know. I, I have a really good uh, thing that I'm going to do if I ever get random. I have gotten random dick pics before too, but you know, if I get them through certain forms and stuff, I, I just, I'm just going to do a, I have a plan that I'm going to do, and I'm not going to put it on here because I don't want to deter people from giving me dick pics. I totally want to, I, I want them to challenge me with dick pics. I got it. It's going to be great. Like make them creative. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be really good. 
And then it's like, I'm going to come out back. I'd be like, okay, I finally got my random dick pics from the sources that I wanted to get them. So here, this is what we have. Bam! And then I'm just going to talk about it. It's going to be epic. I think the coconut might be my favorite. I'm not sure. There's something about it that it is tasting more and more familiar. Like, I don't know. It's... Like I said, to me, it tastes like the Samoa Girl Scout cookies. That's what's getting me. I feel like... I know I've had coconut cigarettes before. There was like that, um, was actually beside Hastings in, in uh, Richmond, there was this weird smoke shop that I'd go and buy my cloves a lot. And uh, the cloves. I know, I, I, you can still get a hold of the clove cigarettes and shit. I've thought about getting a hold of them. They're, they're so strong. I just don't smoke anymore. I did a while, but I would still, I would, I would smoke them occasionally. It was very rarely. But it's just, I'd be buying a whole pack or it'd be like really expensive. I think at one, you know, once in a while it would be like totally worth it. Dude, if it's going to be anything like me, anytime I, they're, they're, if anyone's smoking around me when I'm drinking, I'm just like, oh, I want to hit that. Okay, I've seen it you, makes me so sick. I've, I've seen you vaping and, and I've been like, oh, I want to yeah, try that. Yeah, you almost vomited because you sucked it in too hard. And it's just like, no, can't do that. Can't no, do that. but that particular smoke shop, they had all different flavors of cigarettes. It was really cool. They had... Then there was a coconut cigarette, then you could buy them by the one. So they would sell them individually, like, out of the pack. And I, I remember having a strawberry, a coconut, um, there was chocolate. There was a good handful of the different, like, flavors of cigarettes. I would often go in there and buy them, and I just had my, like, my special occasion cigarettes and my regular cigarettes. It's like now with our special occasion booze and our everyday booze. Yes, it's craft cigarettes. I think that, you know, is a thing. It could I just be. never called them. It never caught on like that. Well, you know, it, I feel like if the tobacco industry would have kept pushing the fact that, you know, tobacco and cigarettes weren't cancerous, there'd be like hipsters smoking craft tobacco cigarettes and shit. Be. Artisanally grown in your own, like, small right. batch house. That's and... what vaping is, isn't it? Right, yeah, pretty, pretty much, much now. Yeah. I like to vape, but it's CBD oil. So, we're about to come up on time. Okay. Oh, no. Do we have any final thoughts for the week, ladies? No. We talk about poop a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and roofies. We're, we're, poop and roofies. We're going to change this to the uh, poopy roofie cast, where we're going to take a combination of laxatives and roofies. Right. And then see what happens. See who shoots themselves in their sleep. Like, is, is, is this the is this the episode that we were supposed to take the last tips? No, this is the roofy episode. Oh shit! <laughs> like, <laughs> let's try both at once. I don't know. We'd wake up on a fucking couch full of shit and be like, "Well, Ariana, well, look on the bright side. At least it's not my couch." <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Hi. So, did we learn anything today, other than the uh, poop poop problems? Mm, let's see. I got nothing. No, I don't know. I don't think I learned anything. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't think of anything that I learned. I learned that buying new hardware should require more testing than just going out and buying. Twenty minutes before I fucking try to set all that shit up because it worked earlier and then it didn't work later. I feel like I learned that I think my GoPro, the reason why it wants to shut off, is because it's an action cam. So if it sits for any duration of time, it finally shuts off. But it, I had turned it on. And it wasn't on for very much longer, and you went off to the restroom and came, before you came back, it shut off again. So it's really weird for, I don't know what it is that causes it to shut off, because it doesn't do that when I'm on my motorcycle. And I had, like I went over the weekend, I had that one on the front of my motorcycle, and I had one on my helmet, and I rode around for about an hour to, like, just right around an hour, and neither one of them shut off, so I don't know what's going on. I think they have to be moving if it sits still for... And that makes sense. It yeah. does. It's an action cam. Eh, we'll see. Maybe someday we'll buy some new camera hardware. I think Definitely. I just need software, new, better software than free shit to run the recording. Mm -hmm. So... Back shut right off. Yay for nerdy shit. Yeah. We'll get better and better. At We're any growing. rate, please like and subscribe. We are at the strobingbuttplug.com. We're on the Facebook strobing, The Strobing Butt Plug. Uh, right. we're, we're on, on tick TikTok. TikTok. Uh, I have been going through adding Instagram. us. Instagram. I've been adding us to the podcast. Are we on the Apple Podcast? This? Because I've, I've said every time. Every Apple's time. Apple's got to approve us. They have to, okay. Because we're not on Apple yet. Somebody asked me the other day. I was like, I think we're getting there, but I don't know if we're there. Because I, I checked. I checked. Like we were... the, the same chick that was talking about the, the creepy stalker guy and the dick pics and all that. 
she was sitting there like bitching about how Apple was taking their sweet time to approve her murder mystery podcast. Okay, gotcha. So, okay. So anyway, uh, well, once well, again, well, ladies and gentlemen, the strobing butt plug .com. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Ask questions. Let's if try. you have questions, places you'd like us to go get a drink, beers you'd like us to try, let us know in the comments. And remember, if we get a thousand likes on this particular podcast, he's gonna poop his pants. And I will do it on camera for Missy. I feel I feel like that should be on our camera? first. I feel like we should do oh, that would be our first on. live because you you can do live, so we can do live, and then the people can uh, watch him shit his pants live. We're definitely doing that at his house. <laughs> uh, I, I will be wearing a diaper for for that. Meh. Hey, real quick. I don't want to ruin my pants. Real quick, that chick that pooped her pants. So a couple weeks later. We were at the hospital and we had to take somebody into the hospital and she was writing a report. And so you do that at, at that time, you would do it at the hospital. So when you're done with your report, the nurses can sign the report. So she's like, well, I'm feeling like I did a couple weeks ago. And so she went to look for a bathroom and she came back out. And while she was in that bathroom, she was snooping around and she found a brief and she put on that adult diaper and she, well, she went to finish the report and she sent me a picture of it and it was on Snapchat. So I was like, damn it, I was gonna screenshot it. Snapchat lets you know. But then I was like, basically, I tried to get a picture of her for the rest of the night in her doll diaper. <laughs> and on that note, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, tune in next time for more shit tales from the shit people and uh, craft beers. Yay. Yeah. Bye, bitches. Love you. That's good times. Oh, my God. I was going to say something. I forget what it was. Excellent.